Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> hey kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, it's Powder Milk, and um, I would like to make this little vlog here to make a special thank you to somebody who's, sorry if I keep looking up my, my screen is right there, so, I'd like to make a special thank you to a friend of mine, and and he's been supporting me and he's been there for me when I was when I had the toughest times when none of my family members were her or my loved ones my fiance couldn't be there at the time and and I guess I'd like to say that I, it's just a th thanks for this past year or so since I've been here at this post he's been the only one there and he's made me feel like I've actually had a friend since a long time and a lot of you guys have seen him on on my uh, my channel and you've seen him you you guys know him you guys love him he makes you guys laugh I know he does cuz every time he's around he he watch it you watch more and I wish he'd be on here more because it, it makes it easier for me you know to make good content for you guys and sorry that was my phone um that was a bit unprofessional hold on and i'm sorry i have trouble putting this out um i'm not much of a guy who puts out his emotions uh, except when it comes to games and i try to hold my emotions in sometimes and i don't like to talk about my feelings and we had a conversation yet last night after we it got went out to eat and stuff and we just sat in his car he vapes we just relaxed the first time I got to relax in a long time and I don't get to relax often uh, if you can see it, tell by the back of my room my it's kind of a mess and I've been having trouble keeping it clean because I've been having so much stress thinking about my how I'm gonna pay for this wedding and how am I gonna do this and that and he just let me relax in his car we listened to music and we had a long talk you guys as I said you guys know him it was Boz Boz my my best friend and I he's been there for me he's we 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 seemed to like you know get and argue a lot but we are the bestest friends and we're brother I consider him a brother to me he is family to me um, sorry guys and I have to say sorry that when I'm at the toughest times when I didn't have the best of days when I had he was there to help me out <laughs> I wouldn't train for the world. Guys, if you're watching this, please um, ignore my mess. Uh, I love you, man. I I could I would like to. I hope we do stay friends even after the army. And when I I do, we're planning to reenlist, and I plan to stay here with you, man. We can both go to college. We can take probably maybe even take some classes together. And I, I, <laughs> uh, I remember when when I first got here, I didn't think I would be talking to anybody around, and I thought I would be alone. I probably wouldn't have any friends because most people in the army, I don't agree with their moral values. I will be honest. I do not agree with their ways. I don't go out and party. I don't. I don't like going to clubs or anything. I just don't want to go to a club. I don't want to be like out there. You know, it's just not me. 
I, I like enjoy going to the mall or I like going to stores, go a little bit of, do a little bit of shopping here and there, as you can tell by my room. Um, all my geek stuff. But that's just me though. That's the things I like to do. I also like to, you know, just relax, play video games, you know, drink some, drink some soda, eat some pizza, stuff like that. And and I but the point of the matter is these people are the kind of people who go clubbing and stuff. That they go out to parties. I don't do that. And I wouldn't hang out with them. The kind of people I don't like. I'll be honest. I'm just not that kind of guy. And I, I, I guess I put that to myself, I guess. I'm just different. And that's the way I am. And, um... And I thought about that. And I was there for a few weeks by myself. I wasn't hanging out with anybody. I was always in my room by myself. Always on my computer. Um, and, you know, I eventually... I thought... And then eventually some other privates came in after me. They were coming back from their time on their leave. They were coming back from their leave, or not leave, but they were their um, hometown recruiting, which is what a soldier does after AIT and BASIC to um, spend time at home or do some recruiting at home. And it allows them to spend time with their family on their free time. And I didn't get to do that, to be honest. And, but they did. And they came to the bay, to the, the station, and I. That's when I met Boss and Smith. Smith is uh, was the other was in the same AIT, was in the same AIT platoon. And Smith, you know, and Boss were two different people. I they they looked different to me. They 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 like they acted different. You know, they do that kind of clubbing stuff. They uh, and Boss, you know, he'd been to a few parties here, but. And he was the kind of guy who did things that I didn't. He was actually a completely different person. He was actually those kind of people I didn't want to hang out with. And he, he was actually in the same boat as me. He was afraid that he wouldn't make any friends here. He was afraid that he would be alone here. And he tried to force a friendship on him. And he, he, one day, he just knocked on my door and said, hey, man, you want to hang out? And I, I was afraid about this guy. I just looked at him sternly, and I just like, hey, man, we're not that close yet, man. Maybe some time over time, man, maybe yes. And eventually, about a month later, we did end up becoming friends. Yeah, it was kind of just, you know, hey, man, let's go do stuff, man. Let's go do stuff. And I just didn't want to do anything. I was afraid of people. And... Then my sergeant, and I will give him, I'll, I'll say him now, right now, Sergeant Lin, he kind of helped me get out there because I was afraid to go out. I'd never actually been anywhere because my family was too poor to do anything. You just did the small stuff that were free or cheap, or if something came up and my dad wasn't working. And... But here was my opportunity was to go out and start, you know, with like go-karting or ball or going to Red Lobster, which I'd never actually eaten at until then. I actually got to try some crab legs and that was pretty good. And but then we grew to be good friends and then we started hanging out more. And then he got his car and we started hanging out even even more. And then just last night, he he was telling me how we were and this conversation was so long, I wanted to cry because I never realized how much a friend he was. And until that moment. So, I want to, yeah, boss, remember if you're watching this, thank you. Being the bestest friend, I, one of the bestest friends I've had. And all of you out there, I want you right now, who's watching this right now, call your very best friend. Call your very best friend. Tell them how much they mean to you. Tell, I want you to, I want, 
or tell anybody you, who is your bestest friend, anybody, even if it's a family member, even if it's far away, have, you haven't talked to them in a while, I want you to call them right now and tell them how much you mean to them. Just hold on to your friends, because you never know play it when you need them. You never know what might happen. Because some things could happen, and some tragedy could happen, and it could end something so bad. And I will be honest, Buzz, I, I consider him my brother. And I'll, I'll be there by his side, if anything. I'll be there for him. And I know he'll be there for me. I, I, I thank you guys for the time to listen to an emotional guy who has a lot of bottled up emotions. And I thank you guys for being there to, uh, since the beginning. Those of you who have been here since the beginning or you just came around, thank you. And I love you guys too. Bye, guys. I'll see you.